Hello to all my D-Squad out there and to everybody who may not be a part of the D-Squad. Today has been an interesting day. So interesting that I felt like I had to start this far away from the camera for some reason. Let me, let me get on closer. <laughs> I woke up today, I took my little cute little dog Hercules for a walk. If you guys have never met him before, this is Hercules. Mwah! I got back home and started making my breakfast as I normally do. I was scrambling up some eggs, I made some toast, had some ketchup on there. I, I eat eggs with ketchup, okay? I eat every almost everything with ketchup. When I was a kid, I would eat cereal with ketchup. What the hell was wrong? My mom must have dropped me. And by the time I had finished eating, you know, finished doing my dishes, got my clothes on, and I was all ready, it was like 11 o'clock, and that's like my entire day! I remembered a video on YouTube that I got recommended to me about a week ago that was a meal prep video that is like, you can spend an hour or something prepping your all your meals for one week and saving a bunch of time. There are hundreds of fitness YouTubers out there who will show you how to make food in a short period of time for a five day period so you don't have to think about what you're gonna be eating. You can eat healthy, you can save calories, and you can just relax knowing your food is ready for you in your fridge and freezer for the entire week. So that is what we're gonna be doing in today's video. I am going to be meal prepping the next five days, having all my food ready for me in the fridge, seeing how much time I save, seeing how it affects my body because you know, I just, I just don't have time to go through drive throughs anymore. Like, three times a day is just too much. But, oh, you thought I was gonna eat healthy. You thought I was gonna be on no, Turk. They have clearly, they've never, clearly never watched my channel before. No, we're doing it with fast food. Fast food meal prep. I'm gonna have three fast food meals prepped for me in my fridge for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the next five days. That is not all I have to eat. I can add in other things, but I have to finish every single meal prep to follow the meal prep of, you know, saving calories. <laughs> so I'm gonna be so fat. So we're gonna get into today's video, guys. I want you to leave in the comment section down below, what is your dream meal prep? If you could choose what you're gonna be eating throughout the entire week and have it ready for you in your fridge, what would you pick? And while you scroll down to leave that comment, kick that like button down below, because if this video can get to 75,000 likes, I will be using a random food generator to choose my next meal prep for five days, completely random foods. Kick that like button down below if you want to see that. In the meantime, what we're going to be getting today is five iced coffees, five breakfast sandwiches, five cake pops, five Big Macs, five medium fries, five medium Cokes, five Chipotle burritos, five orders of chips, and five cans of sparkling water. There is only one thing left that we need, and that is way too much Tupperware. <laughs> All of this food looks amazing. I, I haven't eaten yet today, so I would be super excited to eat anything that is in front of me right now. I don't know how I'm gonna feel after five days of eating the same thing for every single meal, but we have to prep it right now. And if there's anything I've learned in my research of watching meal prep videos, they love overhead shots and they love voiceovers. So that is what we're gonna do. Let's join the fitness community. And by fitness, I mean, I'm not gonna be able to fit into any of the clothes that I have in my closet after I finish this week of meal prep. And I'm, I'm gonna gain 30 fucking pounds. First order of business is packaging up our breakfast, which is a cake pop, a breakfast sandwich, and a grande iced coffee. And of course, the iced coffee is just gonna be going straight into the fridge. And the breakfast sandwich and cake pop are gonna be going into this nice little container. And this meal consists of 690 calories. Next up, we have our lunch, McDonald's, which is a medium fries, a Big Mac, a sweet and sour sauce, and a medium Coke, which of course is just going straight into the fridge. We're gonna throw our Big Macs into this perfectly shaped Tupperware container, and of course we can't miss out on the Monopoly, so we have to stick that right on top. And what is a meal prep video without something going into a mason jar? And that is where we're gonna be putting our fries, and our lunch meal consists of 1160 calories. Our final dish is dinner, which is coming from Chipotle, which is going to be a burrito, an order of Chipotle chips with hot salsa, and a San Pellegrino lemon flavored beverage. We're gonna take the burrito and use one of the containers we use for breakfast, so we're gonna just shove that in, we're gonna shove the, well, well, at least I thought we were gonna be shoving that in there. So instead, we're gonna be putting the chips into that container. We have a nice spot for the sauce. We're gonna dump all the chips in there, and I couldn't resist, you know, here's, this is me chewing a damn chip, like a, the fatty McFat I am. Mmm. Oh, yeah. And that does it for our dinner, which comes in at 1,650 calories. Which means at the end of each day of this meal prep, I will have consumed 3,500 calories worth of food. 
A lot of these meal prep videos, they teach you how to meal prep for an entire week in the span of 30 minutes to an hour, maybe two hours tops. I started this meal prep at 11 o'clock. It is now 4.50. You guys want to see the, the freaking the oven says 4.50? This took me damn near. Okay, why did I even try? Why do I even try to? You can tell Herc's a little bit jealous that he doesn't get to do the fast food, uh, the fast food meal prep with me, Herc. It's okay. You can have to eat the same thing every single day because you're just a dumb dog who doesn't even notice. I mean, who needs the McDonald's or the Chipotle or the Starbucks that's in the fridge when we have over here just 100% beef liver? Yummy. You sit. Good boy. We've been practicing this one. Can you lie down? Down. Good boy! You <laughs> my good boy! Nearly six hours later, the fast food meal prep is complete, and I am ready for the next five days to only eat fast food, and it is all ready for me in this fridge. You guys gotta see this. So up top here, we have the first day all laid out and ready to go. We have our Starbucks drink along with our cake pop and our breakfast sandwich. We have our McDonald's drink, fries, our sauce, and the Big Mac is just there behind them. And over here we have our burrito, our sparkling lemon drink, and our chips. And if we come over here to the door, we have the coffees for the rest of the days, we have the Coke for the rest of the days, and we have the remaining canned drinks. For the middle section, we have the rest of the days for Starbucks, McDonald's, and all of our chips. If we open up the top drawer, we have the fries and the burritos for the rest of the the days and in the bottom drawer is just the rest of our sauces and our straws so the next five days oh my god no I go and grab another medium coke from McDonald's the next five days are going to be very weird and I'm not sure what's gonna happen okay I don't know why I thought I could do this with uh, yeah we're gonna need a towel I definitely need a towel I don't know how my body is going to react to eating McDonald's every single day for lunch having Chipotle every single day for dinner Chipotle is if you if you guys have had it before it's guaranteed lava out the butthole. It's gonna be a bad day. I don't know if I'm gonna have continuous diarrhea for five days or maybe my body will build up an immunity to all the beans, the corn, and every- all oh my- the corn. The corn is only- I always see the corn twice. The only thing I know for sure about the next five days is I'm gonna be super excited to wake up because I'm gonna have Starbucks coffee in my fridge ready to go every single day. And another thing that I do know is that I am going to have to actually move some of the stuff from the fridge into the freezer. In a bunch of the meal prep videos that I watch, they say that food can go bad in the fridge if it's in there for three or four or five days. So I'm gonna take day three, four, and five, all of that food, Put it in my freezer. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow morning for the very first day of fast food meal prep and let's see how this week goes. All right, so it is day number one of our fast food meal prep. Good morning, guys. I don't know what time it is, wherever you, whenever I post good morning on my Instagram story, which I do almost every single day, a lot of you guys will be like, it's not even morning where I am, Derek, <laughs> idiot. What do you want me to just post a good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and good night every single time? That's not fair. Probably won't be doing this every single day for breakfast, but I just want to show you guys what I'm going to be doing for every single meal. We're going to be going into our fridge, and over here we have breakfast day. Oh, we have a coffee just waiting for me in the fridge. This is great. We're going to take our pre-portioned breakfast, and we have to microwave the breakfast sandwich. Let's get that in there, and we are going to do... Um, does anybody else just do everything for 45 seconds and see what happens? That's, that's what I usually do. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, with no drive through no dishes to clean, our breakfast is served. What you're about to learn is a fundamental truth that can help you to understand how to make beautiful girls attracted to you. Because I didn't have to pick it up or clean up anything, I had so much extra time, I went and got a haircut! I never, I never get haircuts in the morning, but today I had that opportunity. It is very early on, but I am loving this meal prep thing so far. Um, something, I don't know if this is gonna be that great, but Jazz Paul, my friend, just asked me to go grab lunch with him. I have lunch prepared for me already. I told him I would go with him, like, I don't wanna say no just because I have my meal prep, but this, 
This is gonna be awkward to say the least. So I packed up all of my meal prep into my backpack and headed over to the restaurant we were going to for lunch. Right when we sat down, it was very apparent that this wasn't gonna be as easy as I thought because I had to drink my entire Coke that I had in a janky bottle. I had to watch out for all of the servers walking by and asking us questions because if they saw me eating a Big Mac out of my backpack, we would definitely get kicked out. And even to be less suspicious, I bought a Caesar salad so that when they saw me chewing, they wouldn't be like, why is he chewing on nothing? There's no food in front of him. And then I continued to eat everything. The fries was hard because opening a mason jar from my backpack was, why does anybody use a mason jar for anything? Let's just stop using them. I chomped on my Caesar salad. I slowly but surely finished my my Big Mac, I chomped down on some more fries, drank some more pop, and I had finished my lunch. Usually the thought of Chipotle would excite me to points of nothing else, like, it's really sad how excited I get about food. People say that witnessing your first child being born is the most beautiful thing they've ever seen, but have you ever witnessed the waitress coming over with your food and you know it's yours and they place it in front of you? That's the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen! That is the first time I've had a Big Mac meal in quite a while. My body can definitely sense there's something different inside of it, but the meal prep saved me a lot of time without having to clean up all the dishes from lunch or order lunch or anything like that, so I think I'm gonna use this time to maybe clean up my apartment, or maybe I'll take Herc for a walk, or maybe I can get a head start in editing this video. Or maybe fall asleep for four damn hours and just waste the entire day because apparently having a Big Mac meal just knocked me out. I, I was just sitting on the couch and out of nowhere, boom, I was, I was out. I was out cold. Good thing we're meal prepping to have more time throughout our day so I can just sleep more. Honestly, I... I love sleeping more, so I think this is actually perfect. <laughs> what I don't think is gonna be perfect is going to be the Chipotle that's been sitting in my fridge since yesterday. I don't know how burritos are gonna do as a meal prep, but we are gonna find out. Let me first grab um, one, one meal prep's worth of chips and salsa, one lemon San Pellegrino. Yeah, you surprised I said that correctly. I can also spell it too. S-A-P-N-S- E-L-O-R Greeno Pellet. Shut up, Mrs. Hampton! Shut up! And of course, here we have the star of the show, our Chipotle burrito. These chips have been in the fridge for 24 hours. I don't know how they're gonna taste. I'm pretty sure they're not good. They're probably gonna lose all of their crunch, but let's see. Oh! And that salsa definitely didn't lose any of the heat. Oh my gosh! Okay, wow, that's hot. Let's get us let's get a nice sip of our drink here. This drink literally tastes like the lemonade from Chick-fil-A if it was carbonated. And I love Chick-fil-A. I love carbonation. I mean he, that's who I voted for in the Canadian election, carbonation. Now let's get a bite of our meal prepped burrito. Okay, I'm gonna be hundred percent honest. This burrito is a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. A Chipotle burrito pretty much holds up in the fridge for 24 hours. Now, <coughs> now, I'm, now I don't know how those chips are so, this is so damn spicy. I don't know how the burrito is gonna last over a 48 hour period in the fridge or being in the freezer, but right now this is really good. And the crazy thing is about this whole meal prep thing is I slept for like four hours and now I'm gonna finish this and have time to do more stuff. With this time, maybe I'll go like visit my mom or maybe I'll go play video games with my friend James or maybe I'll go rock, oh, maybe I'll go rock climbing. Or maybe you'll find yourself on the toilet right after you finish the damn Chipotle. Not even, not even five seconds after you finish the Chipotle. You have, I ran into the toilet. I've been in the bathroom ever since. I didn't go rock climbing. I've been on the damn toilet. There's stuff climbing out of my butt. That's the only climbing that's going on right now. Is that is how instantly Chipotle is gonna make me hit the toilet. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure the camera is still recording right now because I instantly left. It instantly caused explosions and farted with explosions. A lot of oh, it's exploding. There's a lot of exploding, okay? Hopefully my body will build some sort of immunity to this stuff by the end of this five day period because there's no way I can handle this for five days. I'll see you guys tomorrow. But because nothing really exciting happened on day two and I don't want this video to be 45 minutes long, I'm just gonna quickly glance over what happened. I woke up, heated up my breakfast and actually ate it in the car and because it was so quick, I got to take Herc to a place that I love walking and that I hardly ever get to go to because it's a far drive and I usually don't have enough time. I ate my McDonald's lunch while I was working on an art project that I've been doing for quite a while now. I am very proud of how it's coming and I can't wait to show you guys. It was games 
night, so I brought my Chipotle over to my friend James's house. I hung out with all my friends. They had pizza and I got to eat my pre-made Chipotle dinner. And now on to day three. Hey you guys, good morning. This is day number three of the meal prep video. Um, I usually don't film a little thing for breakfast. I usually just eat breakfast, let you guys know how it is. But I feel like this is the only time I'm gonna be happy throughout this entire day. Reason being is because we are now diving into the frozen portion of our meal prep. So let's open up the freezer here. And this is our breakfast portion. Get that in there. Yeah, there's a 45. I had the cake pops in a little Ziploc bag in the fridge. You don't really need to freeze these. I'm pretty sure sugary stuff can be in the fridge for weeks upon end. See if the 45 second rule did us well. Is the sandwich, okay, no, we'll put that in for a little bit longer. Let's grab our coffee and eat our breakfast. I almost just said yeet our breakfast. For, um, we're not yeeting anything. <laughs> now, I'm not that worried for the breakfast portion because you know the cake pops are gonna be fine and the breakfast sandwich heated up. Everything in it is already warm, so I can't see there being a problem. But when you microwave a frozen big, who, there's gonna be warm lettuce. This part of this challenge has been great. Waking up with coffee, waking up with a cake pop, like this combination is so good. So the bun on the breakfast sandwich is a little bit soggy. That's completely expected after being in the freezer for three days. Let's see if it still tastes as good as it usually does. I mean, besides the bun being a little bit more firm and harder to get through, this is still good. It tastes exactly the same. The egg is still questionable, just as it is from every fast food place when they give you breakfast. And see, when you like coffee as much as I, okay. Well, you see, when you're addicted to coffee as much as I am, if there's a fresh, a nice iced coffee in front of you, everything's gonna be okay. Everything tastes good just by proxy of being next to the iced coffee. So I'm going to do what I do every morning. I'm going to pull up a YouTube video. I'm gonna eat my breakfast and I'll see you guys for the rest of the day of meal prep when we start the frozen portion of this video. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. It's not gonna be a normal vlog. Time, so I guess it's lunchtime. Time to eat our Big Mac meal prepped meal for today. It's frozen, I'm gonna be positive and not complain because people hate when I complain because positivity always wins even if it's fake and causes your mental health to just be destroyed. <laughs> Our Big Mac meal prep is what is up next. This is gonna actually be the halfway point for all of our meal prep. Here are the Big Macs with the Monopoly on top. We have to grab ourselves one of our McDonald's beverages, of course. And I couldn't fit everything in that freezer, so I had to throw some of the fries into this one. We have our mason jarred fries. And I'm actually just going to pour the French fries into uh, the Big Mac container. That way we can heat up everything at once and have our lunch all prepared and ready to go. While that's heating up, let's see how the Coke is. Now it's third day in the fridge, so I do have some hope for it to have some carbonation left. There's no, car there's no carbonation. Here we have our microwaved frozen McDonald's meal prep. It's steaming, it's greasy. Let's eat. All right, so let's give a try to the McDonald's fries first. And if you guys go to McDonald's regularly, you know it is easier to solve the quadratic formu parabolic formula of a black hole than it is to reheat McDonald's fries and have them taste good. They just always, they, they suck at being reheated. Yeah, the texture is weird, the taste is weird. It's edible, but it's not a very enjoyable experience. Okay, so we're gonna go for the Big Mac. Look at my lips! Look how great, look how voluptuous they look! Okay, the bottom bun of this Big Mac is so incredibly soggy. Hopefully it's gonna have some redeeming qualities. Let's give this a try. Okay, so the Big Mac definitely has some redeeming qualities compared to the fries. It makes your lips look like Kylie Jenner. Look at these lips! Look at that! You know, I do this meal prep so I can have more time, but this kind of food just makes you so tired, especially after eating it for three days, that you don't want to do anything after you eat it. So he, here's what I think I have to do. Cause I know right after I eat that Big Mac, I'm gonna sit on my couch and play Smash Bros for probably an hour. So what I'm gonna do is while I'm eating it, I'm gonna get something done. I'm honestly quite the clean person. Like my apartment's never really that messy, but right now it, I, it, 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 there's definitely some clutter. So what I'm gonna do while I eat my Big Mac over here, I have a, cause it, okay, I, uh, that's embarrassing. I finished breakfast and I was still feeling tired today. So I went and got another coffee, okay? You can't, I'm just, I. I'm just, I'm doing my best. So I am going to eat my lunch and when this Big Mac is done, the cleaning will be done and hopefully this meal pepper will actually work for once, okay? Here we go. It's clean, we're clean, we're done. 
Um, so, I don't, I don't, I, I'm gonna go learn English and I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. I don't know if freezing and reheating McDonald's makes it more greasy, but I have never felt so greasy in my life doing anything. And you guys know I've done a lot of things. Nonetheless, we accomplished a lot during our time eating lunch. We have Herc's leash and poop bags ready to go. We have all of his jackets and harnesses that, and, and guys, look, you know what, see what that says? The North Fetch, come on! I mean, come on! All of Herc's toys are over here and organized. I changed his pee pad, and I managed to clean off my desk, got my controller and my remote ready, my favorite books all ready to go. I'm not actually gonna nap this time. I'm gonna try and get some more stuff done. One thing I am going to do today is rock climb. That's something I haven't done in the past two days, which I should be doing almost every day. I'm not gonna let this diet, yes, Herc, just lick all, please lick, just clean my face, bud. Just clean, clean it off. Dinner and then rock climbing. That is the plan for the rest of the day. Okay, so Derek actually did what he said he was going to do. He went rock climbing. I am just outside. I just finished. But we kind of have a problem. Before rock climbing, I was running a little bit late, and I had to grab my Chipotle, and I was going to eat it in the car on my way to get here. Problem was, I didn't have a lot of time to microwave it, so I just went with Old Faithful, and I did 45 seconds. It needed about 45 minutes. Got into my car, started driving the 30 minute drive to the rock climbing gym, and I kind of just had to gnaw at the sides of the burrito. What the f is that? Because the middle is completely fr- It's still completely frozen. It's 11 o'clock at night, I just worked out. I'm actually kind of hungry, so I guess we're just gonna have to try and eat this burrito sickle. Here we go. I don't even know what I just bit into. Like, if you look at the top, it's just a solid brown color. Is there any guac? Okay, I see some green on the side here. Maybe maybe this will be better. Let's try that. One time I was at one of those funky ice cream shops with a bunch of flavors, and they had avocado flavored ice cream, and I always wondered what that would taste like. Bro! Terrible disgustingness! The only part that really thawed out is the tortilla, so all I've been doing is just biting on the tortilla like a like a little bunny eating a carrot. Now I know, I know so many of you guys are gonna be commenting saying, Derek, why don't you just take the burrito home and heat it up and eat it there? What the hell? Why yeah, what the why what am I doing? Oh, why does it have to be day four? Why does day four have to exist in this show? Okay. Good morning guys, it is day four of the fast food meal prep and if my bed looks a little bit different it's because this isn't my bed. I am currently on the floor of my washroom, there's the toilet in close proximity because I, I got up four times before 2am to go and release myself, there was no way I was going to be doing that every 30 minutes so I thought why not just come here, lay on the bathroom floor, I got my blankets and everything so when I'm ready I can just simply boop bada bing, I'm right there. It was a rough night and my back is killing me. Last time I remember it was 6 o'clock in the morning and I was still periodically getting up to release myself, um, it is now... 12 it is lunchtime and we and I haven't eaten breakfast or lunch <sighs> Guess it's time for brunch. Let's get up. Have our old all that. Ah, okay, maybe take that a little bit slower All right time to get up. We're gonna have our breakfast and our lunch I would space them out But I want my stomach to be as empty as possible for when I have to eat dinner because whatever is gonna be in my stomach when dinner goes in is gonna become I don't think I've talked more about poop in a video but rather than this video Thank God smell vision doesn't exist yet. Not because of the way this food smells, but because because of the way that I smell right now. As I do every day with my first meal, and probably a lot of you guys, I'm going to pull up a YouTube video to watch while I eat this food, and it's going to have to be a special sort of video because there is no way I'm going to get through this without a very special someone's voice in my Like, I'm the best, most perfect person to help me through this brunch of fast food meal prep. Hey guys, it's real. Welcome back. as like a little savior at the end, so... <gasps> oh. Oh. The sheer thought of putting a Chipotle burrito anywhere in, within 20 feet of me right now. Oh, okay, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something, I don't know. <gasps> I, I 
I just, I never do this, I never do this, no! That was a Oh, I did the entire thing, I thought I would try to make it better! And it was the entire thing where I lie in bed with a stupid fucking candle! This tray with the food and try to make it a more fun experience, and I need a frozen damn burrito! And I told her! No, this food is making me go insane! I'm full over my damn white shirt! I'm freaking- What do I do now? I have this just empty. I have some chips. I have a couple chips left. You guys want me to eat the chips? I'll eat the chips. <laughs> oh, it was so spicy. Oh, oh, so spicy. First day and the second day weren't bad at all. The last two days have been like the worst days of my life. What am I gonna do now? I do this for one more day! Oh. was by far the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Doing this for five days, it's also the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. I'm genuinely considering doing a juice cleanse over the next couple days, plus coffee. God, uh, you can't just cut the coffee out of the- I'm gonna go and take a shower, go for a run. I'm just gonna take a shower. I'm gonna go take a shower, eat some carrots, maybe a cucumber or something. Always remember the motto of do good, die great. I love and appreciate every single one of you and I'll see you all very soon. Thank you so much for making it to the end. I honestly, it means the world to me. All right. Bye! Oh, and I forgot to mention that out of all those Monopoly McDonald's stickers, I, the, I won one free medium fries. That's it. This is the only thing I got out of all... Come on, McDonald's. You know I'm still gonna eat you, though.